A perfectly round sphere is the optimal least surface area way to enclose a given volume in 3D. But what happens if instead of a single volume, we have two volumes that we wish to both enclose and separate? What is the least surface area way to do so? It was proved in the year 2000 that the classic double bubble is the optimum. This consists of two spheres put together with a spherical interface, all three of these surfaces meeting at 120 degrees. Very well. But what if instead of a double bubble enclosing two volumes, you have three volumes that you wish to enclose and separate? What is the analogous optimal solution? A triple bubble. It has long been conjectured that the least surface area way to get a triple bubble consists of three spherical caps that are again pairwise meeting along circular arcs at 120 degrees with the interfaces inside, but then all three of these caps come together with a four-way intersection at an angle of arc cosine negative one-third, that's about 109 degrees. This triple bubble has been the conjectured solution to this optimization problem. But how do you prove that it is indeed the optimal solution? How do you know, for example, that there isn't some weird kind of shape that encloses three volumes, but in some strange sort of topology? This is not an easy problem. But in May of 2022, a proof of the triple bubble conjecture has been announced and given by Emmanuel Millman and Joe Neiman. The announced results include a proof of the triple bubble conjecture, not just for 3D, but for Euclidean 4D, 5D, all higher dimensions as well. In addition, they prove the quadruple bubble conjecture in dimensions 4 and higher. All of these results work not only in flat Euclidean space, but in a round geometric sphere as well. There's much more in the preprint, which you can read. Before attacking that preprint, check out the written review by Frank Morgan at the Association for Mathematical Research website. I'm Robert Greist with the Association for Mathematical Research.